Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Together we'll go through Crotone Juve, but not only. Let's start with a, a positive note because we have to be positive. So the positive note is that yesterday Inter lost 2-1 versus Milan. That's why I repeat Inter Merda. Before starting and going through all those topics, I asked you to subscribe to the channel if you are new and put a maximum of like. That's so important so that we can grow the channel and share the information with the English speaking Juve community. That being said, disaster yesterday. 1-1 versus Crotone. A disaster we were all expecting a win and the win didn't come more than a win we were expecting also a beautiful performance and that performance also didn't come so we have topics that we will talk about Mormorata, Chiesa, Al, VER, O, Bernardeschi, Pirlo and Dybala gate because there are some stories about Dybala that I want to give my opinion on yesterday was a drama I told it how did I describe the game it was uh, an organized we were unorganized from the first minute until the last minute now that being said when we saw the formation one hour before the kickoff with Portanova, Frabotta, Kulusev, Tichiesa and so on and so on the atmosphere I'm not speaking about you personally but the atmosphere on social media was that the supporters of Juventus were happy happy to see finally that rejuvenation project on the field and not only on papers or on dreams we were all happy uh, praying for a new door new door is Portanova in Italian for church chiesa we were really happy to see the young kids on the field all happy all confident versus Crotone what better game to do it unfortunately then we play 1-1 disaster game a drama game let's be honest and after that it's Pirlo out Pirlo out Pirlo is shit Pirlo is not experienced enough he's not deserving Juventus at the moment this is again the general feeling spirit that we see on social media now I said it yesterday in the live guys for me Pirlo he did something that he had to do. He had not really a lot of chance. Why? Because Pirlo, I speak only about the game of yesterday, he had a lot of players coming back from international tra travel. Also, a lot of players playing a lot of games with their national teams. Knowing that we have Dynamo Kiev that we have to play on Tuesday, not Wednesday, on Tuesday immediately. Players that are home, tested positive to COVID-19, and other players that were not fit because they just came back from injury. So a lot of things to deal with. Frabotta and Portanova, they are not under 23 players anymore. They are even in the Champions League list. So those players are part of the team. So it makes sense at a certain moment to let them play. Now, uh, testing Arthur from the first minute together with Bentancur. We were quite happy to see them after the red card versus Roma. A lot of you were expecting a lot of things, but those things didn't happen. So yesterday for me, unorganized game, uh, difficult. Uh, now I have to say there is something that I want to, uh, to make clear. We played three games. Games versus Napoli, we didn't. We played three games and in those three games we had two red cards, two penalties... And this year, more than ever, guys, we will have we will have zero gifts. The fact that we won 3-0 versus Napoli at the moment, because they will do an appeal for sure, we will pay it really, really expensive. We will pay it a lot, guys. And we saw it already yesterday with the red card. And yesterday in live, I said there is a red card. I saw the images a million times since and... I'm starting to change my mind. I don't know if you can give it or not, but it was less hard than when I saw it live. So I'm asking myself, if you take like three hours to analyze the goal of Alvaro, the second one to analyzing, you take three hours. I think they went back to the birth of Alvaro Morata to check if something happened there. That's what they did with the VR because it took like five minutes. And at the end, you cancel it. 
why don't you use it with Chiesa? Because I saw the images one time, two times, three times, hundred times. And at the end, yes, I may be probably changing my mind because I'm not sure it was red anymore. Okay, Chiesa has to be a bit more experienced and take away his foot. Makes sense. But go, you have to be, as a referee, you have to go one time to the VAR to cancel the goal from Morata offside, but also for the red card of Chiesa. Now, I don't want to find excuses for the referee. He was not good and we know it, but the performance was not good. We were unorganized with players that didn't know where to play. And now I want to find some excuses to Pirlo because I'm not a Pirlo out, okay? My thesis is not that after three games you, you want to to put Pirlo out of the team as coach, he's not blah, blah, blah. No, absolutely not. We have to understand the situation we are living in. The guy, he had one friendly game versus third division team, Novara. That's it. No, no preseason preparation, zero. Players that came on the last minute, then other ones that had to leave. Some players, big players still injured, Dybala, De Ligt, and Alexandro, for example, Bernardeschi, so a lot of players injured and uh, and international travels. Then COVID positives like Ronaldo and McKenny. It's not easy at all for Andrea Pirlo. Okay, if you see yesterday, Morata was probably the best one. And that's why I put more Morata because he scored. He was really convincing yesterday. Not only thanks to his one and a half goal, but also the performance. And Pirlo said it clear. He's probably one of the only one that was able to focus and train the whole week with me because he didn't go to Spain for the international uh, travels, national teams. He didn't. So that's probably why he was one of the best. And the other ones, it was more difficult. Arthur, speaking about Arthur, was really difficult for him because Pirro is saying also, eh, he's really good with the ball on the feet, but the problem is he's in holding too much the ball. Now that we spoke about those things and I want to cross them so that we don't repeat them, guys. But we spoke about him. Uh, Chiesa, really great performance yesterday for me until he was there. The fall, he has to take away his feet. But on, on the other hand, it was not an aggressive fall. Maybe a, a, a strong yellow, yellow was okay. I'm really sad for the game. Hopefully he can do again his, uh, um, his performance versus Dynamo Kiev. One thing that I wanted to add on that topic, guys, is that uh, welcome to Juve. Chiesa, because yesterday Gazzetta, he, they put him a five, five, that's it. Five saying that he was really bad in everything except on the assist. Guys, welcome to Juventus for Chiesa. Make sure you get used to all the shit that you will receive forever and ever. Now that you signed for Juventus. They are, we spoke about it, Bernardeschi. Bernardeschi disaster, guys. Bernardeschi was a disaster. I was really pissed off yesterday because if you are playing a return game, you know, the second leg game of a Champions League where you won the first one and you are tying, I understand that you are controlling the game in the last minutes of the game. But yesterday you are playing versus Crotone. Pirlo, he gave you the chance and the opportunity to play. What do you do? Three or four times with counterattacks, you stop and you give the ball back. I'm sick of you, Bernardeschi. I'm always positive, I'm always trying to give you a chance because you are a Juventus player and I will try to support you, but this is not how you will conquer my heart. This is not the way how you, you will make me love, fall in love with you, sorry. So wake up, because if this is the performance that you are giving to us, I don't want to see you on the pitch anymore. Pirlo, we spoke about it, so let's give the guy a chance and time. I just hope one thing, that the time that we are giving him will be enough. That the time that we will give him to adapt himself, to make sure that his football idea is in the mind of the player and on the field, that it will not be too late because the other ones are too far away. But give, let's give him time. And now we finish with the last topic, guys. <clears throat> and it's Dybala, Dybala gate. Yesterday he didn't play, he didn't play an after the game drama because some rumors, and I cannot, I don't know if it's true or not true, but the rumors were that he had a big dispute with Paratici after the game. 
a lot of discussions, even Tutto Sport was reporting uh, the problems, the heavy discussion between Dybala and Paratici yesterday, that was one point, and then two mysterious like from Dybala on Twitter. He put the like, then he take them away. It's not one, there are two. One from Fabiana uh, Della Valle, writer of, um, Gaz on Gazzetta dello Sport. She was writing that... Uh, she was writing on Twitter that she didn't understand why you take a player like Dybala with you if you don't let him play a few minutes versus Crotone to gain a bit that uh, game, that game piece to, 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 to play again a few minutes. If it was like that, why was it not better to leave him in Torino? Dybala put a like, then he took it away. And then another tweet from someone I know, she was writing, another girl, she was writing, uh, I don't really understand the Dybala situation, I hope this has nothing to do with his contract extensions, there are no problem. He put a like, he took it away. Now, I know I will receive probably a lot of hate because of that, but Dybala has to become a man. I don't know of the di dispute of Paratici and Dybala. I was not there. I don't know. But I would not be surprised. It's not the first time that Dybala go out of the field when he's subbed with his head looking at the ground, refusing to clap hands or to shake hands with the trainer. It's not the first time on the web that is a bit controversial. If you are wearing the number 10... If you are fighting with your life to stay and remain at Juventus because you love the club, if from time to time you have the captain band, if you want an extension for, I don't know, 10, 12, 15, even 20 million a year, this is not the way. I'm really tired of it. This is not the way. For me, Pirlo, he made really well. He did. He took a really good decision yesterday because Dybala, he come from an injury when we put him on the field too fast. He was injured again versus Lyon. He didn't play the two games because he was not ready. The guy traveled to Argentina to have stomach and toilet problems. He didn't play any of the two games. He came back with the plane of Messi to be there on time. He trained 10 minutes with the team. That was it before the game. What do you expect? When we are 10 men on the field, when we are 10 men, what do you expect? To win some playing time? That you are the savior of Juventus? It's not the case. So Dybala, fix your own personal problems here in your mind, clear it. If you want to represent Juventus, then maybe it's good for you to read the words of Alessandro Del Piero in 2006, when he had problems with Capello. He said, sometimes I want to tell some people to go to hell, but I force myself not doing it to, pre to protect my work environment. I still hope to play more. I stay, until, I stay until June and then we will see. Those were the words of Del Piero. Del Piero was not satisfied in 2006 with all what happened. But Del Piero took a decision. I'm the number 10. I'm the captain. And even if I'm not playing at the moment because Ibrahimovic, Trezeguet, Zalayeta are preferred to me. I stay in silence, I respect the work environment, at least in front of the cameras. There was no Twitter and social media, but in front of the media and cameras. And at the end of the season, I decide what to do. So that's what I hope for Dybala. Nobody is denying the fact that he was MVP last year, that he's an immense talent. But first, the values. And I finish with one thing. Team over individual. Always, whoever you are, team over individual. From the moment that the people understand that, then we can talk. This was it for me, guys. I know I will receive a lot of hate and dislike. So for the other ones that agree with my uh, opinion or not agree, but respect my opinion because we are in a free country, in a free world where we can give opinions, please put a like. 
That was it for me. Thank you. Inter merda. Forza. Juve.